Hello and welcome to That Is Nice. We are here with Nolan once again. This is about his fourth or fifth time on this podcast. And today we are going to be looking at the world's most famous pitchers and just reacting to them and just seeing where they went wrong. (laughs) All right. So the first one we have here is lunch atop a tower. You know, I think buildings, just buildings, have come a long way. Because this uh, this picture predates walls, floors, tables. What do you you mean it predates it? Well, clearly, if you look at this photo, (laughs) uh, there's no walls, floors, (laughs) tables. (laughs) So that it predates it as in like, it's like a relative term. It doesn't predate it like industrial wise. Like there's obviously floors, walls, and tables. Do you in- see any in that building? <laughs> okay. So it, 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 I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, interesting. Uh, it's very self-explanatory, right? I mean, it's, what is it? Lunch atop a skyscraper? Correct. <laughs> Why do you think they took this photo? They're probably just trying to get some uh, chicks on Instagram. <laughs> they probably asked just like a pedestrian eating lunch on the other beam. Like, <laughs> take this photo from my IG. Put this on my Tinder profile picture? Yeah. Seriously. Because they, I think they almost look like way too, um, what's the word? I like when you're just like out and about, what is it? Not casual, but, um, so. chill, just relax. No, no. Like if, if you're doing something and somebody takes a picture of you doing it, like you're candid. Okay. candid. Yes. It seems a little bit too candid. Like these guys are like pointing at this piece of paper, like, and the one dude's laughing next to him. I think this is, it's not a very candid photo. Is that dude drinking like Posing. whiskey on the very right? Does he have a bottle of whiskey? Probably. <laughs> or maybe he's, he's drinking lean. Oh, times have changed. Did you know that the uh, – actually, it's amazing that you pointed that person out because the person on the far right, I don't know if you knew this, um, was a young Takashi 6'9". <laughs> and then from there he said, this whole – skyscraper nonsense isn't working out for me right so now i'm going to make some some mumbo rap yeah and now he you know he made fifi and all this stuff and bb which uh i don't know if you've heard that song before but it's complete and utter trash it's uh completely in spanish don't understand it i'm pretty sure he doesn't even speak spanish himself. no he does i mean he says he does but does he really in in the video, in that music video, the the other rapper that's like singing with him, dude doesn't move his lips once. He's like, no lip movement whatsoever. It's hilarious. It makes me laugh every time. Maybe he was just like, he was happy. Couldn't stop smiling. But but he's like in the music video, like it's him like going hard on some some bars, like he's like rapping like nonstop. But in the music video, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the poor guy had a stroke, man. You don't know. <laughs> and uh, let's let's just go right to the next one. So for this next one, oh, we nice. got. Give me one second. We're having a little bit of technical technical difficulties. There we are. Whoa. You know who we got here? Is that uh, Theodore Roosevelt? Wrong. Uh, The English dude, Churchill. Winston Churchill, yeah. And uh, in this photo, he's mad. (laughs) But he's mad. This is true, though. He's mad because the photographer took his cigar away to take the picture. (laughs) No way. Yeah, that's why that's why he looks uh grumpy. Hmm. Just 
Like, he's kind of got an attitude there, huh? He's like, a little attitude. He's like, you took my cigar, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you little dirty bitch. <laughs> Probably after he took a cigar and right before the photo, he just went. <laughs> like a and then he's like this. And he's like, all right, Winston, just pose, just pose. Put your hand in your hip. He's like. Yeah, yeah what is that? That's like one of those Tom Hanks poses. You ever <laughs> Tom Hanks? He does that all the time. It's because he's got flat back or something. He's got something wrong with his back. It's just really bad posture. Probably. He's Tom probably Hanks. staring at a computer too long. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tom Hanks. Yeah, it's um, a common misconception that Tom Hanks, he uh, stared at the computer way too long when he was a child. So you just said a misconception. <laughs> yeah. A when lot I, of people think, don't think that, but... Yeah. Well, well, I know. So wait, does he or does he not? He does has it? he has bad posture because he and stares at a computer. Because he used to stare at a computer screen too long. When? Like when he was younger? I already said that. Yes. Okay. You know Tom Hanks is probably like fifty or sixty. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think he was staring at a computer screen when he was younger. Okay, it's. Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> Speaking of believing, Nolan. Uh-oh. We got Buzz Aldrin on the moon. <laughs> there he is. For those wow. of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know, Nolan is a Such flat earther. CGI right there. That's all that is. That's legit, dude. He is standing on the moon. By moon, you mean maybe Nevada? No, I mean the moon. No, like I'm thinking movie set. Like, I mean, so first of all, let's, let's appreciate how grainy this photo is. Well, it like, is an old photo. Well, think about it, right? So space. we're going to, you know, pay billions of dollars to shoot ourselves to the moon and we're going to use a shitty camera. Like this is 2018. Come on. There's, there's 4K <laughs> but, out there. But this wasn't. <laughs> this was not 2018. Well, then explain. He's got a reflection of of another astronaut taking a photo of him. Another movie set that could have been placed there. It's. I'll say it's historic for American history, just because they teach it in the schools. But I think it's it's entertaining for me. It is. It's real. It's real. This it is, is a, no, you're right. A it, real this, photo. Like this, this is a real this, picture of a man on the moon. This is a real photo. This is a picture. Maybe they called it the moon. That's what they know. call. Yeah, that's what they call it. This this is the moon. They have moon rocks. I've seen moon rocks before. That explains why, like, um, the prime minister of France. Um, this was yeah. a couple of years back. They had their moon rock tested from the United States and it was just wood. So that makes sense. Can I get a source on that one? Uh, New York times. I can actually, I, I can send you a link to that, but I'm just saying that's, that's real. That's real news right there. It was that's, wood. It was, it was like denatured wood. Come on. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it really was. It was the piece of rock that they gave to France in particular was wood. I don't know about the other countries because the U.S. started handing them out, but I know France's. I don't know. It's maybe so for your case, maybe somebody switched it out at one point. And, but it could've, yeah, it could have just been a gaff just for a little goof. Yeah, maybe. And you know, it's quite possible if you look gotcha, at France. Yeah, idiots. They're right here. We're not giving you these. You go there and get your own. <laughs> but it is quite possible that the moon is just a fire pit. And it looks like a fire pit. It's ashy and that could have just been old burnt wood. Or it just could have been wood. It's simple as that. So. You're never going to believe that it's round. How are you? What's round? The Earth. You're never going to believe anything it, about space. It's similar to being circle. Yeah. Like, like a three-dimensional sphere. 
three dimensional sphere. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening. <laughs> I mean, you can believe whatever you want. I just, I just know that there's ice walls out there. So. <clears throat> yeah, I know you do. I know you do. Well, I'm, it's always nice that you're so open-minded. Let's see. Yeah, I try. This so. is a photo of child labor during the Industrial Revolution. They used children because they could get their hands in those little places that adults couldn't. Mm. And they got their fingers snipped. They got their fingers snipped. Are you for or against? <laughs> Child labor? Yeah. I f did not realize that was a debate, so um, pretty for. Pretty um, for it. It seems to work well in China, Korea. Um, I just don't see anything wrong with it. You know, right? Like, why is, it, why is 18 the age where you can go and work, like, 40 hours? Right. It's just... And like to work when you're below, like less than 18, you have to get so many extra permissions to do it. Yeah, you need to get like a whole bunch of waivers. It's really weird. Yeah. yeah it's, it's interesting how that all came about. I mean, it's, were these children being forced to work or was it their choice? Who was forcing them? Like the, the owners? I don't think the owner uh, of like a factory was just going and snagging kids up. And <laughs> right. But I'm saying like, are the parents forcing these kids to go work? Like, I'm sure some were, but I think a lot of it was because they just needed to eat. You know? So that one, like half a penny a day really helped out, huh? Probably, you know? I mean, you can pay kids less. Think of think of an industry now today in America where there's child labor. There's child labor. Um, in the U.S. In the U.S. I don't think I can think of any. How about acting? Actually, that's that's a very good point. That's and, like the, it's like a gray area. Well. It's similar. I, I was listening to this podcast with Macaulay Culkin and he was talking to Joe Rogan and he was talking about how like he could only work like 10 hours a day and he had to be... Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I know. And you're a kid working 10 hours a day. That's a lot. It's a fuck done. But like that was the limit and then he had to be in school certain parts. Like he had to keep taking interval breaks even though he didn't really necessarily need to. Like there's a, a couple little different blurbs and laws that it's, um, it's just interesting to hear about because I never thought about that. It's just strange though because, I mean, imagine imagine if Ford were to go and have a kid work 10 hours a day and it's like, oh, he has to go to school for this many hours, but he works 10 <laughs> hours. It's like, <laughs> Yeah, why do they make the exception for like any – Yeah. It's any um, – any, it's not even just acting. It's it's literally any, like, I mean, I guess acting, and, but like music too. I just mean, I guess entertainment. That's entertainment. That's, yeah, that's it. It's a uh, yeah. I never never really thought about it like that, but yeah, that's kind of messed up, huh? But, just yeah. getting like stealing these children's like childhood. Right, and then it's you know they don't have a concept of money. No, God, no. They so just, it's, they're not doing it because like, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a good paying job. Yeah, Make I'm going to put this all in my savings. <laughs> yeah, I get to buy lots of Capri Sun, so I'm good. <laughs> if I was like 12 and like was an actor and had unlimited money, I think my, my first purchase would be a large pepperoni pizza. Right? Like what are you going to – when you're a kid, if you're making like $5 million a year, what are you going to buy? You're not going to go – it. You're not gonna go invest in shares of a company or anything. You're not gonna like exactly not, right. Stupid shit like, and you oh. know, and you know that the parents are taking so much like they're taking all the advantage they possibly can from that. Of house. course, like, skimming off the top. They're like, oh, I'm gonna buy a new car, buy my house. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. They just use their kids. No, no shit, dude. Man, like just maybe being, that's what we should do. We should just like grow child actors, like make them, and then just you know live off of them for the rest of our lives. 
But what are the odds one of them actually gets in? I wouldn't want my kid in Hollywood. I wouldn't want my kid in Hollywood. Hollywood's very, like, rapey. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't put my kid there. Yeah, it could be. I'd throw my kid in a Ford plant before I throw him in, a, throw him in Hollywood. For real. <laughs> nah, I'd, I'd let my kid uh, survive the Hollywood streets. If Justin Bieber could do it, my kid could do it. You don't even have a kid, dude. You don't know what he's. You don't know how like emotionally strong your kid is. Oh, I know. Have I know. I know. Trust me. You do. Okay. He's. It's, he's gonna be pretty tight. He's gonna. His name is gonna be Chad. So. I don't know a single actor named Chad. Do you? you no. Do you? You might want to pick a different name. Chadwick Stokes. The lead singer of Dispatch. He's a yeah. singer. Talking like actor. He's in movies. Is he? Which ones? Documentaries. <laughs> it doesn't count. Documentary. It does not count. If you were to be in any kind of movie, what movie would you be in? I could be any kind of movie. Are we talking like eternity? Like I'm living that same, like, however long the movie is for the rest of my life? Or <laughs> if I could be an actor in a movie and be known to be in that movie? That, yeah, the latter. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking, can I do, like, uh, can I do movies that have more than one? Like, like you know, like, blank one, blank two, blank three, blank four? No, no, no. It has to be a, not. a single a, movie. One movie. Like a genre of movie. You know, it could be one, like a crime or action or drama. Reservoir Dogs. Uh, what, what, I've never seen it. Eh? Sorry. Wow. That's Sorry. Hard. That's ballsy to put it out on the internet. <laughs> never seen Reservoir Dogs. Let the internet do what the internet will do, man. Wow. You know, I, I was scrolling through this page's like comments and stuff, and there's some there's some heated stuff on there. I'm surprised that and I saw one person in particular, he was putting some shots out on you. Which which one? There's this one fucking person who's like always uh, talk smack. What do you say? I think the picture's of a cat or something weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. Oh. Yeah, he called I was, me. Uh, he I was, I was gonna. Me, <laughs> he called you what? Called me a dumbass, and I just said your mom. <laughs> you know, I thought this channel was that's, that's judge, what I, judgment free zone. Guess not. That's what I saw. I was like, oh my god! Like you called me a dumbass. I said it was your. I didn't even judge him. I just said your mom. <laughs> you know, I think I'm just gonna start like being really mean to people who comment. Like the one dude from the fair, like, oh, I think the fair is a great place. I don't know where you have been, but, you know, I've been smoking next to the RVs all week. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dude who, uh, the dude from the 1920s radio show that made that uh, YouTube account. <laughs> and there he is, folks, and he's off, and we got Dasher, and he is in the, the Dasher, guy. Dasher, Prancer. Yeah. Next. The guy who just announces horse races <laughs> in the 20s. <laughs> Uh, do your best do your best uh actually do your best news impression my best news impression <laughs> i'm not i'm trying to i'm trying to think of the words do your best news anchor from the 1940s impression but i'm going to give you the news so okay. there was there was a large catastrophe that happened okay just that's that's all you're giving me yeah and you're 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 on the air okay and a catastrophe happened all right Mm, I think um, you said 1940s. 19. <laughs> Why do you have like each decade down to a D? <laughs> like what? 1940. Are we talking like 1943 or 1948? They're very different. Very, yeah, right? very different. Because I mean, like my whole hairstyle will change if we go mid 1940s to pre 1940s. You know ah, what I'm saying? Let's do. Uh, let's do. Let's do early 1940s. Early 1940s. Okay. Oh, that, that, hey, no, hey, hey, Nolan, <laughs> I didn't know you were old. 
forties. Like I, was... <laughs> I actually had no no impression of the forties. I could maybe do just nasally and over overemphasize everything. We have a catastrophe here at Trump Tower. <laughs> They're not gonna sound excited, dude. <laughs> Fucking A. I'll do it. <laughs> there was an explosion. Guys, guys, everybody. We had a major catastrophe today. Probably the worst one. <laughs> they were that general about things? No, it would be like they this. Like... So like the, the camera, you know, it would, it would cut to scene to him and he'd be like this. Have his glasses off. Be like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I have some very bad news today. Uh, Trump Tower. What? I, I don't know why I went Southern. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 25, 25, going once, going twice. So, so to the man of blue. <laughs> Here, I got an idea. Let's go back and forth with impressions. All right. I'm terrible at impressions. I really am. I'm going to give you, uh, you got to do. I think of a good one. Um, An impression of Jim Morrison. No singing, though. You got to just try to have his mannerisms. I, I couldn't even do a Jim Morrison. Couldn't even do a Jim Morrison? I've not, I, I haven't really seen videos of him talking. How about Richard Simmons? Nope. How about... <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. How about I'll just give you a scenario? Okay. All right. So... You're walking your dog yep. down the street. Yes. <laughs> in 1943. <laughs> All right. And you love this dog. You've had this dog since it was a puppy. And okay. you, you know. I'm already knowing you, where this is going. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've, you've, been, you've been through some hard times with this puppy. And now this dog is maybe, it's 10 years old. You know, it's still got life ahead of it. You're walking down the street. All right. And then the KGB drives up to you in a Ford Model T. Pops you're walking me your dog. And my dog. Wrong. Grabs your dog. Oh. All right. Drives away and has a gun to your dog's head. And they say, What you gonna do about it, bitch? And then they drive off. Damn. What do That's I It's a do? very common okay. impression. Well, I, the first thing I want to know is, in 1943, Correct. were people actually walking dogs? Uh, I think that's... Probably. That's why I can't do the impression, because I don't, think, I don't think we really started walking dogs. It's a new thing? I'm, I know, like, I'm pretty positive. Like, I, I mean, we had companions when we were out in the wild to like help us hunt and stuff. But once it hit the Industrial Revolution, I'm pretty sure dogs just kind of wandered the street. I don't think we really – I mean, I guess we had pets. Just Explain the show I Love Lucy then, please. Go um, ahead. Stage. Hmm. So there's a, there's a blonde-haired chick. No, don't, 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 don't explain the show. <laughs> I just said explain. Saying, I, love, I, I don't mean they literally explain I don't explain remember a dog in I Love Lucy. Lucy's the dog, man. I think. Lucy. No, no, dude. Lucy's not the dog. She's the, the, the girl. It? What's the one about the dog? Fucking Shiloh? Like the movie Shiloh. from 1995? Oh my God, dude. The wishbone? The Shiloh thing? I'm going to give you another impression. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So... You're swimming in Florida okay. in 1942. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in 1942, let's just put it here. I can't do an impression of Like, I'm swimming in Florida. Like, uh, there's nothing fine. else you can do with that. There's no fine. impression to do. Fine. <sighs> here, I got one. You're making me stressed out right now. Dude, You're stressing me out. Relax, man. Relax. I'm sweating. Why are you sweating, dude? You have nothing to lose. This isn't like a make or break you situation. All right, fine. It's 18, 
1852. 18, so 100 years prior to my last impression. Okay. Correct. Okay. And you're, uh, you're swimming in a river. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And um, I'm walking my dog at the same time. And then the KGB. <laughs> yeah, and you're walking your dog <laughs> in the river. No. So 1852, you're swimming in a river. And a crocodile starts swimming towards you very fast. And you know it's going to hurt you. Okay. That's I'm all I'm my way. You. Okay. So I'm, I'm swimming, right? I'm swimming. <laughs> crocodile. Crocodile. No. No. My leg. <laughs> then it becomes um, the whole chubs from Happy Gilmore. I lose my hand. No one? That was fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but, but you got it. it. You got it. <laughs> wow. All right. I like that one. All right. So I'll just start. All right. So, Nolan, you give me an impression. Okay. Um, I want you to do a. Okay. I'm going to give you a time frame. So, not a specific year, but it's going to be like 1998. 2002 um, high school kid that wears those giant ass pants. Like I'm talking the ones with the black, like ah. the black big baggy pants with the chains. The parachute and pants. The parachute pants and they, on the weekends they play uh, they play just dance in an arcade. Like with the steps, they're like oh, oh. oh fuck yeah. Okay, so I want you to talk to him, argue to his girlfriend. Your, your name is uh, Chad, by the way. So. What the fuck is up with your name? <laughs> All right, so wait. I'm the person with the baggy pants, and I'm talking to my girlfriend. Yes. I want, you're arguing with her about something. I want you to, to, um, <clears throat> to, to do it. Okay, fine. And scene. What do you mean, babe? You don't want to go see Marilyn Manson? You know I don't like smashing pumpkins because it's so it's so cliche. Is that good? I mean, I I never really I never I, I don't know much about parachute pants. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not well versed in their uh, culture. Do you think so? You you don't think that like. If you were born a little bit earlier, you don't think you would have been in that crowd? <laughs> nah. No, you don't think so? Nah, I like my life too much. <laughs> to ever wear parachute pants. <laughs> what about uh <clears throat> what about in those uh what is it, the dubstep goth guys dancing? Have you seen that video? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, and it's super cringy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where that was in probably Russia. Are. Like I want to, I want to see them in real life because that was I mean, hilarious. I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think it's much. I don't think there's much to see. Maybe not. All right. So how about uh, these pictures? Let's this get is... to the pictures. All right. <laughs> we kind of got off uh, on a tangent there. A little bit. Child labor. Next. Oh. <laughs> Another iconic photo. <laughs> Would you look at that? Wow, way to put me on blast there. Who's uh, this? Okay. Um, I think that's a young uh, Christopher Walken. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I don't think Christopher uh, Walken wears Fila. And I don't think Christopher Walken's future is so bright he's got to wear sunglasses indoors either. Oh, oh. yeah. Forgot about that one. Did you- <laughs> Where did you find this? I had it. You, you had this? Yeah, I had it. I don't know why, but I had it. Wow. Wait, this is the time to bring it out too, huh? I had way worse ones, but I was like, I'm not going to do that to him. I can only imagine. This was the best of the bunch. Just I so really know. liked that uh, that that sweatshirt. That was it was a good one. It said Italia on the back. Yeah, 
And I remember uh, some I, I wore it in school, and one teacher was like, "Oh, gangs wear that shirt. Take it off." That's kind of like, racist. I was like, "What?" They're like, "Yeah, gangs in Russia, they wear that type of shirt." So I was they like, do, "I was like, I was like, they wear Italian." just shirt like sweatshirts i was like uh why the fuck do i need to take it off like i'm not in fucking russia i'm not a fucking gang like it was the same teacher that i had a a soccer jersey and on the front of it the the their like main sponsor was carlsberg which is a beer over in the uk she's like um you're in middle school you shouldn't be drinking beer i was like which I'm not. I'm just wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a, a soccer jersey. And she's like, um, you're going to need to go to the principal's office and change your shirt. I was like, what the f- Are you sh- like? I don't know. It's, it's, people are Jesus too sensitive. What does the teacher's last name start with? Just the and, letter. Oh, computer teacher. Ah, really? A raging bitch. I, I, always li- raging. I, I always liked her a lot, actually. Hated her. She was the worst person. Even all the shit in her classroom made me want to fucking murder her. What do you mean, dude? It was the giant cone heads everywhere. Star Trek, like yeah. What the who the fuck likes Star Trek? Only cool people like you know like Star Wars. Who the fuck <laughs> likes typing? Yeah, <laughs> creep. You know, like, and put a box over your hands and type the Pledge of Allegiance. Fuck those, you. Those were expensive boxes, Nolan. Boxes didn't come cheap back then. <laughs> or a high budget school. I know that picture behind you should be in this this slide. Behind me. Behind you. Oh, I could get a shot of that, but I gotta we gotta talk about this a little bit more, uh, no one. Yeah. What was going through your head? What was go like did you think you probably thought you looked cool? You know, honestly, I I think I know exactly where this came from. And this isn't this isn't a picture. I think wherever you got this from, I think it was the screenshot of a video that I had posted. Um, I used to do videos on Facebook when I was younger, and this was one of my characters that I so like me and my sisters we would like act out all these things. Yeah, this, this was my detective character, and you couldn't uh, look any less. I <laughs> like it. I mean, you put on aviators, which are for pilots. If anything, dude, you look like Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, yeah, this is. I'm because I'm. I'm almost pretty. I'm like. I'm like ninety five percent positive. This is like a screenshot from a video. I don't think I would realistically take this photo of just myself. Uh, it was a picture. So I don't know about that. Uh, you might have to check your source. All right. I'll look at Facebook later. <laughs> it's on Facebook. It All right. Facebook. Well, I guess there's not much to say about that one, but uh, oh, God. let's, what? let's just get through these ones and then we'll do the painting. Oh, God. What is next? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's so, a little relieving. So we, uh, <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> making me sweat a lot more. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. Um, uh, so right here we have Albert Einstein. Yes. Yeah. This is obviously a photo cropped picture. Of him, photo, kinda, photo cropped. I think, I think by that I'm going to assume you mean photoshopped. Photoshopped. Yes. Well, it's like it's cropped out, so it makes me automatically assume it's not credible. So, well, it doesn't. We're not. We're not lawyering anything. Well, I'm just. I'm just saying that I now I feel like this. Uh, this photo has been doctored, and I can't um, really put my true input on it because it's a fake. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's- this this picture was like his face was taken like that picture right and all it's in his picture is his face but you can see the little black outline around it which which 
obviously that wasn't really part of the picture. I've seen the full picture. This isn't it. This is not the real photo. Come on, man. This is not the real photo. I can't, I can't critique a fake photo. Well, then it's a, it's a crop of the real photo. That's, that's like putting a fucking penis on his forehead and saying that's the real photo. That's how incredible this is. It's incredible how incredible this photo is. You would have think that your producers would have, you know. We don't have producers, Nolan. <laughs> we have 13 subscribers. We're lucky I even still do this. I should have stopped a while ago. I was going to say, are we really lucky that you didn't stop already? Yeah, probably. Um, probably. Just a little no. unlucky. Okay, so. I'm just, no, you know what? No. There we go. This is credible. This is a man. Uh, he's, he's protesting these tanks by standing in front of uh, uh, four tanks. Didn't he die? From this picture? Like, you would yeah. think. You would think. You would really think he did. And he probably did. I don't know. Usually like, that sort of scenario doesn't end well. This, this was taken where? This was Tiamen taken. Tiamen something? Tiamen Square? I think. Tiamen Square? Tiamen Square? Tiamen. Tien, Tienemann, it, something like this, that. This is in the U.S.? No, no uh, this is an Asian man. I know it's an Asian man, Jake. Or, I mean, is it Korea, A China? I almost said Asia. <laughs> Why does it matter? Why does it matter? What war is he protesting? Probably Vietnam. Maybe the Korean War. It could be Korea. I, I don't know. I wish I did. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like before this or after this, didn't a whole bunch of kids get shot? It's likely. When when you see four tanks driving in the middle of like an interstate road, <laughs> we're gonna assume people died and got shot, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could. I, we don't know. Or could this be a parade? <laughs> it's a pretty fucking shitty hey. parade. Trump Trump wants to do it. He wants to make the military for it. Just well, that's one thing, but just having four tanks in the middle of an interstate is not a parade. It's a parade yeah. for these guys. I mean, if I was on that that uh, float right there, I would be throwing candy. I'm not lying. Maybe that's what that bag in his hand is for. Yeah. Get some candy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. I do have a problem with him standing there. Uh, Run his ass over. Well, to the best of my knowledge, it's jaywalking, you know? <laughs> and he's obviously... Getting a ticket for this. I hope so. I hope someone did the right thing. He's backing up traffic, as you can see, because look at that. Yeah, look at the like the, the, the pileup. Yeah, huge pileup right there. Uh, but I, I love that light, by the way. Yeah, that's a great... That would be a great chandelier piece in like a nice ballroom. I would like that. It would, yeah. And that's pretty nice just for next to a road. Um, that's really weird. I didn't know they had uh, arrows in the road over in uh, wherever the fuck they are. <laughs> I, I didn't know they uh, had that over there in this place that I don't know where it is. Because I know a lot about this place, clearly, because I don't even know where the fuck it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure we should know a lot more about this picture, but we don't. I, I, that saddens me. Hey, it's in Tiamen somewhere. Some some Tiamen Square. What do you know about it? Just, I don't know much. It looks like a Chinese star, doesn't it? Like the what? red star. Don't China doesn't China have like something with stars? Something with stars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely have some kind of stars. Um, do you see anything wrong with this picture? I've been trying to pick something out, but I mean, the dude's in the middle of the road. Can I, can I point that one out? You can point that one out. Correct. Yeah. Um, this piece of like driftwood that's in the bottom right hand corner is kind of pissing me off on the road. They should probably have cleaned that up before they took this picture. Litter. Yes. Um, yeah. 
I don't think there's a left. Are they driving in the right side of the road? It kind of looks like they're driving in the opposite like lane of traffic. That seems like a hazard. You bet your sweet ass it is, dude. And as you can see, those arrows are pointing in that direction on the other side of the yellow line. Yeah. What the fuck are they doing, man? It looks like they're almost like just riding in the suicide line. Seems like it. Well, and, and the driving is like U.S. driving. It's like on the right, you drive on the right side of the road. Oh, they're on the left. Yeah, but I'm saying like those arrows oh, are yeah, making yeah. it so you're driving on the right side of the road. So it's going to be one of those countries, which is like U.S., Canada, and somewhere the fuck else. Yeah. you Man, you're really good at geography. <laughs> North America, South America, 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 U.S., USA, United States of America, and... Those are uh, planets. Jeez, dude, don't talk about planets Those right are now. planets. No, I'm, I'm still, talking I'm about planets. I'm very sensitive about this subject, so... No one had a traumatizing experience from planet once. Can we uh, talk about it, or is the is the um, is the court case still? It's still it's still pending. Yeah, still pending. You okay about that? Fucking quit. Get over it. Wasn't that bad? Come on, man. <laughs> Too soon. No one looked at a telescope and saw that. Um, Mars is round. You had headphones on. That's <laughs> 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 not how that works. Fuck. But uh, yeah, they should. Uh, they should clean that up a little bit. They should clean that up a little bit. Okay. That's all the pictures I have. I think. Yeah, because we're about to go back to the first one. Unless, hold up, it's me and Nolan's oh. girlfriend. Oh. Me and Nolan's girlfriend. Life got magazine. Back. It's not me and Nolan's girlfriend, by the way. Um, Obviously. Obviously. Now, was that... Is that a girlfriend, do you think, or is that a stranger? Ah. That's the real question. And what... Those panios are not attractive. Not attractive. Like, look at those pantyhose. You can't even, like... like, You can't even see skin. It's basically just wearing pants. Yeah, pantyhose. Why wear... Like those, those ones in particular, like, like nowadays pantyhose are like, just like a little darker tint of your skin color. But these are like, might as well be wearing pants. Like it doesn't make any sense, but. I don't know, man. I I don't even know if she's wearing pantyhose. She definitely, I'm pretty sure that's considered pantyhose. And like, you can even see right to the right of these people kissing. You can see a lady in a dress, and she definitely doesn't have pantyhose on. Like, she's going ankles out, and it's hot. Yeah. You see a little bit of calf, too, man. A little bit of calf. A little bit, a little of, calf. bit of calf. A little bit of calf. You see Bond up there. Is that is that like a James Bond musical? I think this is a little, a little before James Bond. It's what was Bond? Be. I mean, what was Bond back then? Gold Bond, uh, talcum powder. Oh, maybe they're talking about um, like government bonds. Uh, it's got a big sign, bonds. Well, like maybe they were they were. Uh, I don't know, bail bonds, maybe. Yeah, because that's advertised. <laughs> but dude, I don't like if you if you look far in the back. Yeah. I just noticed this earlier today. If you look far in the back, you're not even going to believe what's there. It's going to blow your mind. Let me zoom in. Is that fat bastard? Well, no. But like, you see how they're on a street and everything. They're in the middle of a street. And if yeah. you zoom in here, I'm just going to zoom in quick. Look at That picture was taken in the background. Wow. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. Well, here, look at it zoomed out. You see it? Yep, there it is. There it is, no one. The only thing that's really weird about that is how come this part doesn't have any color? Like it's all black and white here. But this photo is from 1945. So they probably right. didn't have color. So what why when you zoom in, 
it's actually like color appears. I Is that a, just I, like I put a filter on. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I put a filter on. Yeah. Interesting. And you know what's funny about this? I think this is Times Square in New York City. And this, like, you can't, it's so unrecognizable. Right. Like, it's just like, this is probably where, like, the ball drops every year. Like, and it just looks nothing. Can't even tell. Remotely similar. That's, you know, what a time. What a time to be alive. These guys just coming back from the war, kicking the Japs' ass, just fucking making out with broads on the street. <laughs> but you know what? The person who took this picture is probably a creep. Because, like, when's the last time you went and took, like, a fucking uh, picture of strangers kissing? And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, God. Maybe you shouldn't. I'm, I'm going to say yesterday, but, eh, you know, give or take, give or take a couple hours, but at least, yeah, yesterday. I was on a beach, so it's, Just it's take a picture of the random beach. people on the beach, yeah. Well, well I mean, I get, I get that, like, the nice camera with the long zoom, so I don't even need to be near, you know what I mean? It can be super far away, and it's like I'm right next to That's what I like about cameras, it's. <laughs> very it's like intimate with me but it's not so intimate with me and another person it's just like me and like they'll be in that picture so it's like intimate with me and them but they just don't know it. so it's whatever uh i would ah uh, that sounds not that's not okay i mean like that's not good it, it is what it is really yeah. Fuck. Well, how about this? We're going to play lawyer. Do you want to be the defense lawyer? Or do you yes. want to be you want to be the defense lawyer? Yes. Actually, no. I want to be the attack lawyer. Okay, fine. We're going to be defense lawyer for this photo. So, you're going to be the state. Mhm. Who was trying to imprison this man? Mhm for doing this act. Okay. And I'm going to be his lawyer. Okay. So I'll give you the, uh, give you the floor to open the case. All right. Mm. So we are here, ladies and gentlemen, um, state versus Kim Jun. Um, we are here today because this gentleman decided to jaywalk on a highway and we want to address the safety concerns that we have with that. As you know, we have tanks driving from Konichiwa to Zimbabwe. And Objection. in that, your honor, your honor, please, let me, let me continue. Overruled. Fuck. <laughs> so as you can see in this particular case file that – our tanks are moving in a southern slope direction. Okay, this was on a, a grade about 10%. Now, to people who know grades and tanks, they will know that a 10% grade equals a 10% weight, which, if you don't know what weight means, I will educate you. A weight is when the tracks of the tank are like this, and they grade they start to wade. It's like a, it's a little wobble. And once you hit that wobble, the brakes do not work. So in our um, attack, Your Honor, we want to prosecute this man to the full extent to the law for jaywalking. And, you know, because he could have died. Let's just put it that way. He could have died and it would have been our fault. So the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. So, Chiam Al. It was Kim Jong. You don't even know. You don't even know your your defense. What's your name? <laughs> Kim, Kim Ung. I can't understand him. What's his name? <laughs> Kim Jong. Kim, Kim Jung. Jung. 
Okay, Kim Young, uh, my my client is blind, <laughs> and my client is deaf. Okay, and my client is also secretary for a nonprofit organization of immigrant immigrant children. All right, you follow me so far. This man was walking to work. And this man knows that at 12.05 p.m. every day that that crosswalk allows people to crosswalk because the, it, the light turns red so cars aren't going. He knows every day at 12.05, so he knows he'll be there safe. All right? And Are you kidding me? this time at 12.05, there were tanks there, and he was confused. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. Objection. Go ahead. The tanks always travel that route on even number days at 12.05 Eastern Standard Time. Now, that correlates... To the Asian I'm sorry, Pacific. I'm sorry. I got to interject here. You said Eastern Eastern time? Yes, sir. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, this is Pacific time. Oh, oh, God. Fuck. This is Pacific time, Your Honor. So the tanks did come a little bit, a little bit too early this time. The floor is yours. It's not a crosswalk. No, it is a crosswalk. If you look at this photo, nope. you can see the crosswalk. I don't, I don't see the crosswalk on the left side. Well, let me tell Where you something. Speaking of, the, speaking of the left side, it's not, it's not in the picture. Speaking of the left side. <laughs> these tanks, if you zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> these tanks are driving on the wrong side of the road, Your Honor. So they this, should have no business trying to run this man over. Keep this is a certified tank lane. Everyone here knows that it is certified for tanks only. And this man, if he's blind and deaf like you say he is, how does he know the time? How does he tell the time? I'll, I'll tell. Let me you tell said you. that he knows at twelve oh five it's a red light, right? Well, how does he know it's twelve oh five? He can't hear anything. He can't see anything. How does he know? And how is he the secretary if he's fucking Helen Keller's boyfriend? Tell me that. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to address the prejudice. Mm, from prejudice. The <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, so he wants, are you, are, are you arguing that my client is not blind, not deaf? Correct. You think he's pleading not for insanity? He's not trying to get less of a charge. For, uh, he's not trying to be insane. He's trying to get less of a charge for being blind, deaf. Am I correct? Yes, correct. Uh, okay, here, I'll show you this. Hey, Kim Young. Kim Young? Okay, can you tell me the time? How can he hear you? Exactly. Can he can't. And he can't tell the time either. But you know what he can do? Is he can feel the clock and feel where those arrows are pointing, which he okay. does every day at 12.03. Twelve oh three. So there's a two minute gap between him feeling time and him crossing the walk. He begins finding the clock at twelve oh three until twelve oh five. Do you think that there could have been any human error in that misjudgment? Maybe, maybe a little complacency. Do you think that he's got a clock with him at all times, or is he feeling one on a wall? These are all questions we all have to ask each other each and every single day. <laughs> <laughs> he has think, a point he has a point but let the record show that my client wears a wristwatch and he tuck out the glass so he can feel the wristwatch's hands do you think maybe he when he fondles the watch do you think he maybe turns it a little bit maybe he turns it clockwise so he adds a minute every every day that he fondles it and he, and he touches it? His watch is digital. <laughs> so that would be virtually impossible. 
<laughs> so you're, you're you're telling me that there's a, a digital watch out there that's in 1963? Did they have digital watches in 1963? Yeah. Yeah, did they? Okay. Well, Pro- probably. Probably. <laughs> okay, so then my point still exists. How is he able to tell the time if it's digital? <laughs> Oh my god! I forgot to mention. I, oh my god! I forgot to mention. Uh, as we all know, um, when you lose one or two senses, like Kim Young, Kim Young Un, uh, you start to gain special abilities. For the other. Uh, for example, if you are deaf, your sense of smell will improve. Because your your brain will take over the parts that so you he's, he hearing. smells the time. Well, he's also blind, unfortunately, and he eats lots of curry, so his sense of taste you know isn't too good. Case case closed. No, I didn't finish. Case closed. You got it. You defended him. <laughs> so Kim, he goes, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> let's go to the strip club." Yeah. Let's see some titties. Yeah. That was good. Uh, no, that was a good one. I good. appreciate that. It was it nice? It was nice. That okay. was nice. That was nice. It's I always good. forget. I got to find something better than that. But uh, all right. Thanks, Nolan. You got it. Have a, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen.